many parents assume that if their children get dental cavities, it wouldn't matter since their baby teeth are going to fall out anyway. However, with statistics showing that more preschool children are getting tooth decay, we go around to see if this is still a common misconception. Yeah, I did hear from friends that their kids, because they drink milk to sleep with the bottle, they do get decay at a very early age. I'm giving healthier food, I'm so confident about that. I think any kids before 6 will get tooth decay very easily. So that's why there's a reason why the kids will drop off their teeth. I have I haven't thought about this because now I'm 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 already trying to prevent her from getting tooth decay. Uh, I think now I have to uh, brush her tooth twice and then to give her some water after you taking. So that's all I can do for you. We speak to pediatric dentist Dr. Rashid to address this misconception. We'll be talking about um, dental caries of tooth decay in young children. Uh, it is a very serious problem. It is a common problem, right? Uh, many children below the age of six do have cavities. And when they have cavities at that young age, we call it early childhood caries. In Singapore, the statistics are not so good. If you have a child who is about three to four years old, about 26% would have tooth decay. That's one in four children. And by the time they are six years old, 50% of them actually have tooth decay. That's very common. Okay? Tooth decay happens because there is always bacteria around the teeth. Right? And this bacteria actually uses the sugars that the child is fed on. And the sugars will feed this bacteria and they produce acids. And then the acids will dissolve the teeth and then you get the cavity. That's what tooth decay is. A hole in the tooth. Okay, that's what you call a cavity. So to prevent tooth decay, there are very important things that you need to do. Number one, you need to get rid of the bacteria, the germs, the plaque. That's to, to remove them effectively, you need to brush your child's teeth. We always recommend that parents brush their children's teeth until they age seven. Because otherwise, they're just doing it themselves. It's just like playing, that's not really cleaning. Okay? And when you brush the child's teeth, you need to use fluoride toothpaste. A good fluoride toothpaste would have to have uh, a thousand parts per million fluoride concentration. Not many children, uh, children's toothpaste in the market contain that level of fluoride. So you need to find specific fluoride toothpaste in Singapore. Ask your dentist about the correct fluoride toothpaste for your child. Okay? When you use fluoride, it helps strengthen the teeth against the cavitation, against, the, um, against them dissolving in the acid that was produced. Okay? And of course, the most important thing is to prevent by reducing the sugars. Many parents are aware about limiting sugars in the form of sweets and chocolates. But there are other forms of sugars that the child may be exposed to, like biscuits, cookies, cereals, you know, juices, drinks, sweet drinks like cordials, ribena, milo, yakult, phytogen. They all contain sugars. So the frequency of the sugar, not the amount, but frequency, how often they are exposed to the sugar contribute to the development of tooth decay. Tooth decay in young children can cause a lot of problems because the child can have pain, they can have swelling, and with the swelling they can have fever. With the pain and the swelling, the child will not be able to function properly, they will not be able to go to school, so there will be time out from school. It will be difficult for the parents too because when the child is ill, they will have to take time off work. Management of tooth decay in young children is not easy because as you know, they may not always cooperate for dental treatment because they are just not capable of cooperating. They are young, so developmentally, they are not ready to accept dental treatment. This is especially so if the child is below 4 years old. So if parents do not control the disease well and do not prevent well, the treatment is going to be difficult. And very young children will need advanced methods of managing their behavior for dental treatment and that may include the use of drugs, the use of general anesthesia. I can give you an example. Um, we had patients who are as young as 13 months old, right, uh, having tooth decay. 
13 months old, very young. They would have probably only 8 teeth, 4 on top and 4 at the bottom. He had an abscess, a swelling. So at that very young age, we had to bring him into the operating room, do it under general anesthetic because he will not be able to sit down here and tolerate the injection to take out the teeth and we had to remove the teeth. I think you need to treat dental decay, tooth decay, dental caries in young children seriously. I think uh, you will need to be able to prevent well, right, um, uh, so that you can avoid the problems in your child. Thank you.